Our next film, though, is really screwed up. It's called Fatso, and it's half a comedy, half a drama about a fat person trying to lose weight. The man with the weight problem, Dom DeLuise, who early in the picture sees his cousin die at age 39 from obesity, so DeLuise is finally persuaded to join a Weight Watchers type program. But a fattening problem occurs when he gets together with two other fatties and all they can talk about is food. And when they want to eat, not even the padlocks on their kitchen cabinets can stop them. Mm. Get the honey, Junior. Give me the honey, Junior. It's in the cupboard, Dom. Well, get it. What else did they cover with that chocolate? I mean, besides the orange wedges, grapes, peaches, strawberries. Junior, the honey. Those big, juicy stem strawberries are dipped into that dark, dark chocolate. <clears throat> Get the honey! Get the honey! Oh, Tommy, no. From that, you might think that Fatso is a sweet, pleasant comedy about compulsive eating, but writer-director Anne Bancroft, writing and directing here for the first time, wants to make a serious statement, too, and so the comedy is regularly interrupted with long, agonizing scenes of screaming, crying, suffering. This mix of comedy and tragedy never works. Fatso is just a screwed-up film that I don't think really knows what it wants to be. I'm in agreement here, Gene. I think this is really a bad film. It seems to me, as you pointed out, there are basically two approaches to this subject of overweight, and that is a comic approach and a tragic appro approach. And Anne Bancroft unerringly succeeds in missing both approaches. <laughs> Her movie just w wanders around in the middle totally aimlessly. Uh, it takes really cheap shots at programs like Weight Watchers. Yeah. To what purpose, we don't know. Yeah. That's unworthy of her. And at the same time, it establishes this character of Dom DeLuise with his banging his head against the wall and all the weeping and so forth so that we understand his grief. And then it makes fun of it. Yeah, I, I mean, this movie is just totally at sea. And finally, two big no votes for Fatso, one of the most lightweight comedies <laughs> of the year. <laughs>